we sort of skipped over. This would be from the introduction. Uh, I want to ask you, what role has the Catholic Church had in the rise of secularism? Yeah, yeah. Well, de Lubac would say that it's contributed to the rise of secularism because it's it's um, it's it's allowed Catholic intellectuals to to really foster the idea that that nature and grace, faith and reason, can be separated, and that we can actually play a game on a secular field without recourse to faith, without recourse to grace. We can, we, we're, we're so smart, we're so clever. <laughs> we can defend, you know, th this is like Kant wanted to do this. Kant wanted to totally separate faith and reason, although he wasn't a Catholic, um, but he wanted to totally separate faith and reason. And then he wanted to defend Christian morality by reference to reason alone, you know? And it it just doesn't work, you know, and um, and to the extent that we have tried to do that, to, to the extent that we've tried to play that game, we we have consistently marginalized faith and reason from public life. Sorry, faith and grace from public life. Ladies and gents, the preview is over. To watch the full video, go to canon211.locals.com and become a member. Become a supporter. Get access to exclusive content. Stay in touch with the Canon211 community. Well, that's it for today. Never give up. Keep on smiling. And memento mori. Cheers. Cheers.